Okay, mashallah. So, are you ready for the test? Today we are going to have a test, simple test on the statistics. Yeah. Inshallah. Uh, have you learned entire chapter with her? Yeah. Would you have any doubts on statistics? No. Okay, mashallah. Very cool. Fiki. So rectify your intentions, anything and everything, just for seeking the pleasure of Allah. Just your studying so that so that you will help out the ummah in the future, inshallah ta'ala. So anything and everything, let's begin with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficial, the most merciful. Let's seek help from Almighty Allah so that He can make us make this task easiest for us, inshallah. Ad-du'a wa silahul mu'min. Ad-du'a is the weapon of a believer. So Bismillah. Let's recite some du'as. Rabbi Shrahli. Yes, please. Subhan, what a beautiful tour. Okay, uh, so are you ready with your rough book? I just want yeah. you to take a rough book with you and and not nothing else. No textbook is required, okay? okay. A rough book and uh, and the graph will be on the screen, okay? You have to you have to draw the graph on the screen and uh, make the tables in your rough book. That's all. Okay? okay. Inshallah. Ta'ala. So well, let's begin today's test. Or uh, just tell me, let's a quick recap of what is statistics, Laiba. What is statistics? What do we deal in statistics? We deal about mm -hmm. Representation of data. Excellent. Graphical representation of data, analyzing data, and everything is in statistics. In your curriculum, we are just studying graphical representation of data. Now tell me, which are the graphs that we use to represent the data? Bar graph, histogram. Yes, the first thing is bar graph. The second is histogram. The third is? Frequency polygon. Excellent histogram, and then it is a frequency polygon. Can you please define bar graph for me? What is a bar graph, Lipa? Um, it is it's a representation of data. Yes, it is representing data in the form of that. It's correct. It's correct, Peter. It's representing the data in form of columns, bars in form of bars. So it is called as bar graph, right? The representing data in form of bars. Very good. This is the definition of bar graphs. Okay, bar graph is representing the data in forms of bars. Okay, uh, do you have continuous data in bar graphs? Yes. No, we do not have continuous data in bar graphs. No, the data is not continuous. For example, they are giving a gap in x-axis, right? Do you remember this? Yes. Yes, the, the data is not continuous in bar graph. Histograms and frequency polygon deals with the continuous class intervals. Correct or wrong? Yes. Yes, okay. So uh, what more about bar graphs do you know, Vita? On x-axis, what depicts on x-axis? What will you depict on x-axis? On x-axis, you have an equal spacing between the bars, right? Yes. The spacing should be equal. Okay. On y-axis, what do you depict? What do you, what do you denote on y-axis? The values. Excellent. The values of the variables. The variable names are written in the x-axis and values are written on the y-axis. Excellent. And what about the histogram? Uh, the bar graph is done. Let's just uh, see the uh, quick recap on histogram. Tell me what is a histogram, Vita? What is a histogram? It is the representation of data. In uh, yes. In the form of bars. Class, yes, yes, excellent, excellent. It's same as bar graph, but the class intervals are continuous and there is no gap between the bars, right? That is a yes. major difference. We have a continuous class intervals as well as there is no gap between the bars. So histogram deals with continuous class intervals, continuous class intervals, okay? Class intervals should be continuous. The first thing that you have to see in a histogram is class intervals, whichever is given should be continuous, right? If they are discontinuous, what will you do, Laiba? If the class intervals are discontinuous, what will you do? There is a simple procedure. What will you do? Do you remember you did plus 0.5 and minus 0.5? 
yes yes when the, when the class is discontinuous then you have to do this right for example if i was i would give you 2 2 5 and then 6 to 8 what is it beta is it continuous or discontinuous class intervals that i have given you discontinuous discontinuous because 2 to 5 and it did not start from 5 again correct but there yes. should be no spacing between the bars so to make it 6 uh, to make it 5 what you are going to do beta lad uh yes where will you add, add 0.5 Yes, excellent. Where will 0. you add zero point five? Yes, here you'll add zero point five. Here you'll subtract zero point five, or you'll here you'll subtract zero point five. Here you'll add zero point five. What will you do? Is it correct? Yes. Okay. So, ah, uh, this is the first thing you see in the histogram. The second thing, what do you see, Vita? What do you see in histogram? The second thing, whether the class intervals are varying or Long. varying. or or uniform whether the class intervals have uniform width or varying width right beta yeah. if they have a varying width what do we do and if they have a uniform width what do we do uniform width is as it is right you do not care about uniform width if they have varying width what you have to do beta um. you have to extract something right what do we extract length of the rectangle correct yes we 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 write two extra columns to the table one is the width of the class and then the length of the rectangle how do you find the length of the rectangle beta we have width of the class width of the class and length of the rectangle two separate columns should be made right Yes. For the length of the rectangle, what do you do? Is you write the frequency over over what over width, right? Over width multiplied by the class interval that they have taken. Correct. For example, yes. if the width is twenty, if the frequency is seven, then it is seven over two, and class interval that is the least in all of it. The width that is least in all of it is taken as ci. Okay, we'll see that in the problems. It's just the general thing that I'm uh, going to expect from you. Okay, next, tell me what is the frequency polygon LIBOR? Um, it is. It is again of data and frequency. Yes, graphical representation of data in the form of a polygon. The frequencies mm -hmm. are denoted in the form of a polygon. We will get a polygon, right? Polygon is nothing but a group of straight lines, right? straight lines mm. joined together to form some figure okay they are joined together to form this figure something like this so it is called as a polygon okay it is a frequency polygon a polygon with the frequencies in it which denote the frequencies in it that's all okay so then what do we have in frequency polygon liber what extra thing that you have in the frequency polygon we had discussed two things in frequency polygon right the first thing is we can we can directly write a frequency polygon from histogram how will you write directly from histogram is nothing but how can you write directly from histogram beta mm -hmm. the bars that are already constructed you just can point the middle middle point of each bar and then join it together to make a frequency polygon that's all the second procedure that we opted was the main procedure is the nothing but we have to find one thing what is that beta always we are going to find a thing that is called as yes. class mark which is equal to what is the formula plus lower limit by two excellent excellent lower limit over 2 this is found out and if this is found out then you have to also find one before it one after it right to denote on the x axis correct one yes. number before the first 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 thing that is given and one number after the last class interval that is given should be found out to denote uh, it from the starting from x axis original x axis okay so this is all about the frequency polygon that if i discuss this is a summary of entire chapter statistics okay i'll just give you some problems for the for the test we will we'll have three only three problems for this test one is the bar graph one for the bar graph one for the histogram and one for the frequency polygon okay are you ready for the test yes just please just keep only the rough book with you and just keep everything aside okay only the rough book with you please yeah okay alhamdulillah so
we have a problem here uh, the problem number 1 okay you are going to draw this a uh, draw uh, you are going to draw this in your rough book beta uh, just write it uh, as it is just one write rhc instead of writing it uh, in whole so just draw it on a graph paper uh, you want to draw it in the graph paper no i am asking you said when to draw it on the screen or paper Uh, uh, which which way will you find it easy? You can do it. Uh, you want to draw in a graph paper and show me for the exam or for this test, or you want to do it on the screen. Um, yeah. Frequency polygon. I'll do it on the graph paper. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. There's two problems. You'll do it on the screen. Okay. Yeah. Inshallah. Okay, Vita. Come on. Uh, just write this uh, column in your book. That's all. You can write everything in the short forms. I'll help you out while. explaining do i have to write the question okay you do not write do not write the question just this just this table you have to write in your of book that's all okay. just these thing i'll tell you what these are, are during the class itself rhc you can write it just the short forms N P C, I, C C, R C, O C. I just write this thirty one point eight, twenty five point four, twelve point four, four point three, four point one, twenty two point zero. Done. Done, Laiba. No. Okay, no problem. Yeah, okay, beta. Uh, you don't have to write everything in the uh, everything here. What's given here? You don't write this. Yeah, just write the frequencies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it done? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have this graph. Come on, beta. Mark it in the graph. Start marking. Bismillah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Represent this information in the graph. The first thing you need to tell me: what will you write on the x-axis? What is it? Um, the causes, right? The causes that were mentioned on the x-axis, the variable names, right? Okay. Yes. I'll write it down for you. Causes. Okay. And then here it will be for a uh, fatality rate. In terms of percentage, okay. Okay, I'll have the lila. Okay, mashallah, but very good. So, what will you represent on y-axis? What What are the numbers that you represent on y-axis? So you have thirty-one point eight as the highest number and four as the lowest number. Which will you start with, Vita? We we'll start twenty. Okay, but we have a four point three. I mean, I want you to tell oh, me the scale, the scale on the y-axis. I'm telling you the scale on the y-axis. Um. Five ten fifteen. Okay, you want to write it as five ten fifteen. That's great. Five ten fifteen, twenty, twenty five thirty thirty five is enough. It's more than enough. Okay, chalo. You can make the graphs. What what should be taken care in the bar graphs, Laiba? That the first first class should have a width, right? There should be some space between the first bar, right? It's yeah. very mandatory in the bar graph. 
and there should be a spacing between each of it and one unit spacing between each bars. This should be mandatory in a bar graph. Come on, beta, start representing, representing it. First is 31.8. It's given here. If you have not written it right, it's given here. Mm -hmm. This is nothing but reproductive health conditions, correct? Yes. Second is neuropsychiatric conditions. What does it stand for? 25.4. Excellent. Excellent. There should be a gap between each bars, right? Very good. And what about the third thing? 12.4, it is due to injuries. 12.4, excellent. Oh, you should be writing the uh, below this, right? All the variable names. Correct, Vita? Yes. RHC. Hmm. You should remember to write it in your exams. Then cardiovascular conditions. Is it 4.3? Yes. Then respiratory conditions. Is it 4.1? Yes. Then what about the last other causes? That is 22. Do not forget to write the scale. Come on, tell me what is the scale here, Peter. You do not have any scale in X axis, right? Only the scale exists on Y axis. Scale is equal to five. Is equal to five. What is this five in percentage, right? They'll give you what here? This percentage should be written here. So one unit is equal to five percentage. This is your scale and this is done. So this is the bar graph for you. They, they have asked you extra question here. Uh, we can observe from this graph that what is the major cause for the death of the women? Is, which is a major in this beta? You just have to select the highest bar, RHC. Yes. Prepare to health condition. And the next question they've asked you is, which are the two factors that uh, that causes this? As you can tell any factors generally that you study in science, okay? So this is then understood. Any doubts on these graphs? No, right? Okay, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah. So we'll see a problem on histograms now. Okay. Mm, let's take about discontinuous class intervals. Not this. Mm. Okay, this one bit. This one is for the histograms for you. This is a problem number four. And you just have to write this and this table. These two columns, that's all. 118 to 126, 127 to 135. Please write all of these down. You have to create. Do you have to create one more column in this? Please tell me. Yeah. Do you I do you have to data. do you have to create one more? Continuous. It is continuous. Is it? Do you know how is it continuous? Is it uniform or not? Um, it's not. First thing, it is not continuous. Continuous ka matlab hota hai. The last one should be same as first one. It is not continuous. Yeah. Second. Second thing that you have to check is it is is the width is the width of the class interval varying or uniform. Please check whether it is varying or uniform. One eighteen say one twenty six. The kitne numbers One twenty six minus one eighteen. What is one twenty six minus one eighteen, beta? It is eight. Check whether this the width of this class is 8 and width of all of the class should be 8. If it's not, then it is varying class interval. Then you have to construct a two columns, correct? First, let's check whether it is 8 in all, all the cases. 127 plus 8. Is it? 20, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. It's 8 here. And 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. It's 8 here. Or 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 52, 52, 53. It's eight here. So it has no varying. It's it's uniform, okay? Yeah. So what is uh, what is wrong here? Just the continuity is not here, correct? Yeah. So to bring continuity, what will you do, Laika? To bring yeah. continuity. Uh, subtract 0 0.5 and add 0 0.5. Excellent. Please do it. Do it. Create a table. Create an extra table. 
just just better uh do you want me to send the picture of this table i'm saying should i send Sure. Yes, 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 yes. You have to send. Please create and write it in your book. And after writing, you are going to send me the picture. Okay. You have to create extra table with the continuous class interval. Come on, write it soon. On the lower limit, you are going to do minus 0.5, right? On the upper limit, you are going to do plus 0.5. This should be noted. Once you're done with the table, please let me know. Are you done, Liba? Um, yes. Yes. Write down the frequencies. Three, five, nine, twelve, five, four, two, yeah. eight. Everything okay. Alhamdulillah. I'll quickly send this map shot to myself. Okay. It's done for both the questions. Yes. Okay. Can we go to the graph? Will you, will you draw a graph for it now? Yeah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Chalo. Bismillah. Excellent, Vita. Anna, please draw this graph. Okay. So what data do we have here? What, is what uh, yes, what data you'll write on the x axis and y axis, Peter? Um, on the x axis, you have to write the length question, of the leaves. The length, yeah. Yes, excellent. Length of the leaves the and then. Leaves on y axis. Excellent, excellent. Length and number of leaves. Okay, mashallah. So can you please tell me well, which one will you start with? 
mm-hmm. on y axis what is the units that you will take what will the scale what will be the scale beta um 1 2 3 4 okay are you want to take 1 2 3 4 yeah okay i do not think we have 12 number of columns here let's see 1 two, three, five, six, seven, 10 okay 11 we have just have a little bit 11 but, but that's fine that's fine we'll just do it 11 okay then what about this one beta x axis Uh, do you want to yes you have to start with 17.5 what you have to give can you please write the breakage here how will you write the break it just just like a pulse format right two pulse signals you can write it okay okay mashallah so what about the first after that first thing that you'll write after that um 1 to 17.5 okay let this be 117.5 and 17 0.5 and what about the next thing 126.5 right then what is the next beta you have to tell me all 135.5 excellent 135.5 next 144.5 144.5 excellent 153.5 153.5 yes 162.5 162.5 okay we are done chalo please mark the histogram now for 117.5 to 126.5 we have 3 now it is wrong lab it is wrong okay. where did i write 117.5 oh, you have to start from there okay, okay. Yes, yes 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 you have to take a note on x axis here because x axis is very important here it was not important in the bar graph but here it is very important we also have to consider the markings on the x axis So one seventeen point five goes to three, right? Yes, excellent. No, but um, we start after one unit, right? No, we this is no problem project. because we are because we are giving a breakage. We can just give we can just give something like this. There's no okay. problem in histogram if there is a breakage only. If there is no breakage, you have to start from zero. You know it, right? You know it well, right? Histograms always start from this one, this point, correct? Yeah, this is what they histograms. This is because we have given a breakage; it doesn't count, beta. Okay. Yes. Make a note about it. Make a note about it. excellent excellent mashallah mark lofiki okay alhamdulillah so the first question that they have given here is roy histogram to represent the given data it's already drawn alhamdulillah now tell me the scale here beta on x axis and y axis um x axis uh, 1 unit equals to how many 9 yeah nine. yes what is it 9 mm or something right i'll just check the question yeah, what is it uh, mm yes it's mm 9 mm okay on y axis one unit is equal to 1 one leaf right we have tried to test on this way one leaf okay The next question that they have asked here is: Is there any other suitable graphical representation for the same data? Can you represent the same data in some other graphical representation? 
frequency polygon. Yes, we can represent it as frequency polygon because uh, these two grams of frequency polygons are almost the same. Just what we can do is we just have to extract the midpoints of each bar and just create a frequency polygon. That's all. Correct, Vita? Yes. Okay. The next question is, is it correct to conclude that the maximum number of leaves is 153 millimeter long? Is it? Mm -hmm. The maximum number of leaves is 153 millimeter long. How can we conclude this, Vita? Is it 153 millimeter long? No, it is. It falls between 144.5 and 153. So it can be any. Yes. Size. They lie between the length of 144.5 and 153.5. They can be anything. Yes, excellent, excellent. Okay, mashallah. So this is a question. This is the problem number four that you have done excellently. Alhamdulillah. So I'll just give you a problem on the varying classes, okay? Uh, I want you to solve this problem. I'll just show you which problem. Okay, you do not have to draw a bar graph for this. You just have to show me the table for this, okay? Problem number nine. You just have to write a table for this now, okay? This is a question. This is quite easy question. Uh, but you, for the first thing that you have to check in histogram, this is a histogram-based question. Peter. Come on, the first thing that you have to check in histogram is what? What is it, Vita? First thing? Whether the class intervals are continuous or not. Is the, is the class intervals continuous here? Yes. yes. The second thing is width you have to see. Width is varying or? Yeah. Varying. Varying or uniform. You have to check both of it. If uniform, then it's the same as previous one. If varying, check whether it is varying. One to four, how much width hai? What is four minus one? Three width, right? Four to mm. six. Two width. Correct? Now mm. please draw this. Write the width of the class. Write rest of it. Show me the table. How will you draw for this? Only the table is enough for this. You do not have to draw the histogram. Come on, Vita. Start doing it. Start it? Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Which are the two more columns that you're going to create here? Two extra columns. The width of the class. Excellent. Width of the class. Third of the fourth length. column. Length of rectangle. Excellent. It is the length of the rectangle. Very good. Are you done with first two columns? Mm. Write first two columns down, please. Uh, tomorrow, do you have a half day on Thursday? Mm. No? Okay. So Friday is a holiday for you. So when will you get a half day? Uh, no, we don't get a half day. Okay, so it's a full classes every day. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, no problem. I'll just test. Okay, Peter. Are you done? No, mm -hmm. just tell me the width. The width. If you're done with width, just tell me what width did you write? Um, three. Excellent. Two. Two. Yes. Four. Eight. Yes. Mashallah. Next, what you're going to write? Length of the rectangles, right? Yes. How will you find the length of the rectangles? Please tell me the formula. Um, frequency, this is the frequency, right? Frequency width. over width, width. Mm -hmm. excellent. Mm -hmm. Into the class mm -hmm. interval, least yeah. least width, right? Into the least width, which is the least width in this? Two. Excellent. Now please draw the length of the rectangles. Please write all of the length of the rectangles. <clears throat> if you're done with the table, please send me the screenshot. I mean snapshot.
when do you have the class test beta in school next week okay next week so these two chapters are for the class test oh that test you asking oh yeah yeah no it's not class test actually it's an exam okay okay uh Maths. So how many chapters? How many chapters do you have for the maths? These two only, uh, statistics and quality. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, just can you please uh, send me to the cell which chapters are done at school? Okay, um, which are all the beginning done. of the year. Yes, yes, from the beginning of the year. You are going to have a final exam, right? Yeah, that is I think in February. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Uh, just tell me the what what chapters are done at your school, and what are remaining. Just uh, sh uh, just take it out, take it down and send it to me, okay? Hey, okay. Okay. Not now, not now. We can do it later. Uh, please complete this test. Are you done with length of rectangles, Vita? Yeah, I'm done. Send me a picture. Okay, please send me the picture. Uh, just tell me what did you write for the length of the rectangles? Answers for it. So uh, four, yes, thirty, excellent, forty-four, excellent, eight, and yes, one. okay, mashallah, very good. So this is for the histogram, okay, mashallah. So this is enough for the varying class. Uh, the, how will you create histogram? It's the same as the previous one, okay? There's no changes in the histogram. It's the same as the previous. So we will see a problem on frequency polygon now. So. <clears throat> Okay. So uh, you said you will draw the frequency polygon on your graph sheet, right? Right, Laiba? Yes. Okay, so we have problem number seven. So we have problem number seven for you. What you have to check at first here, Yabita. Any frequency polygon, what you're going to check it first is the same thing that you checked in the histograms. What is it, Peter? Um, if it's continuous. Number. Whether it is continuous or discontinuous. Just check, check whether it is continuous or not. It is not continuous. What will you draw now? You will make a extra column or extra a column for writing it, writing the continuous class intervals. What is it now, Peter? What you have to do with the upper class and with the lower class? Plus 0.5 or minus 0.5 at the lower class. Yeah. Yes, please. Write it down in your book and please send me this snapshot. I'll just check the previous one that you had sent now. Okay, Marshall, excellent.
So are you done, Laiba? Hello. You can just send me the snapshot when you are done. Okay, uh, just tell me the table, what you have written on the table. Just a few numbers, the class intervals in the table, please. Is it 0 0.5? Is it starting from 0 0.5 or 1.5? 0 0.5. Yes, excellent. Okay, then uh, 0 0.5 to 6.5, right? Mm -hmm. Is it 6.5 or 5.5? 6 .5. Okay, mashallah. So uh, are you done with those columns? Have you drawn those columns? Yes, yes. Now please send me the snapshot if you are uh, draw uh, if you have drawn these columns. It's just a simple, right? Only this is changing. Nothing else, correct? Okay, you're going to draw this uh, this graph in your book uh, in your graph book, right? Yeah. Okay, please. Uh, are you done with this uh, with this table? Are you done with this table? No. Okay. Okay. You have to find something else also, right? What is that, Vita? Do you remember for the frequency polygon what you have to find? Plasmas. Yes, mashallah. So write the entire table and send it to me. So, Laiba, what's the progress? Where are you now? Start, starting to frequency column. Okay, okay, mashallah. Team A, you're you are drawing the graph for the team A? Yeah. Okay, mashallah, very cool. Okay. <clears throat>
So, Laiba, what's the progress now? Is it team B now? Okay, mashallah. So which 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 are you currently doing? Which frequency you are currently representing with them? Team B. Team B, which frequency? I'm doing the this uh, the final. Uh, Is it final or marking? You're just marking the points yet. I'm marking the points. Okay, okay, Michelle. Is it going difficult or is it easy? No, it's easy. It's, taking it's easy actually. It's just taking time because we have more frequencies, more number of class intervals here, right? Yeah. Okay. No, you should not bring that. <laughs> Okay, Laipa, can you tell me which topic did you find very difficult in previous uh, chapters? Mm -hmm. 
the previous chapters that you have completed at school. Can you tell me which chapters was difficult for you? Okay, you can just write that down for me, okay? Uh, you can just tell me and on the WhatsApp. But, but please don't forget to send me the curriculum that you have completed, the chapters that you have completed, okay? Okay, okay so where are you now? Right now, which which graph are you representing? Or representing? Um, done almost. You're almost done, mashallah, barakallah, Vicky. Wish no, don't do that. Okay. <clears throat> Can you please send a snapshot of your progress? Where are you right now? I'm sending the picture. Okay, okay, I'm sure. <clears throat> Okay, Laiba, you have just forgotten to write the first and the last part. The points that have to be denoted at last. What is it, Laiba? Is it 60? 5.5? 5. 5? Mm, yes. yes, right? Yes, you have to denote a point on the x-axis, exactly on the x-axis to make it a polygon, right? Yeah. Uh, did you write that now? Yes, actually in my school, they didn't teach the, this first and last point. Uh, okay, in school, they didn't teach you this. No. Actually, the example problems that you have in the textbook shows you the uh, the points on the x-axis as well. And it yeah, actually yeah, depicts yeah. the points. It should be, actually, it should be, it should be depicted. Okay? To make it a frequency polygon, this, this, this is not a polygon, actually. This just the straight lines. It should be a bounded figure. Polygon is a bounded figure, okay? Yeah. So to make a bounded figure, you have to show the first and last line. Point. So, uh, where will you point it, Bita? What did I say now? 60.5, uh, 65.5, right? No. Uh, so, which was the last point? Last point. Just tell me the class intervals. What is the class intervals here? 55 to 60 is 5, right? So, last one is 60.5, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So 60.5 after 60.5, which is, uh, what is 60.5 plus 5? 65.5, right? Yes. So at 65.5, you have to mark a class interval there. You have to mark a point on the 65.5, okay? That's all. Yes. And one previous to this, five previous to this is? Is it 5.5 minus 5.5? This becomes 0 0.5, right? Minus 5. 0 0.5 minus 5 gives you 5, minus 5.5. 5. Okay. 
you have to mark a point there as well okay now please uh, send me the snapshot of the graph after doing this after writing minus 5.5 and 65.5 You can just ask your teacher about this doubt. You can ask, okay? Just tell them that, that this is not represented. Why is it not represented? You can ask this doubt, okay? Okay, are you done with the graph now? Completed the graph? X-axis and Y-axis are good. Team A pink, team B red. Um, the starting point put on zero red. No, we cannot put on zero. We have to put five intervals before minus five. Okay, it should be exact five, five width, right? One to six, kitna width hai. Seven to twelve, kitna width hai. Five width hai. It should be almost width five. Okay. So plus five. Jo jo bhi point hai aapke paas ab, jahan se interval start hota hai, it's one, right? 0.5. 0.5 से पहले minus 5 अगर करो गया, तो कितना मिलेगा? It will be minus 5.5. So that will be the interval yeah, before. Yeah, where does that come? Uh, it comes before 0, beta. For example, okay, I'll just show you on the graph. अगर आप यहाँ पे नहीं है graph. Just a moment. Okay. If you're drawing this graph, there's a line here. Yahan pe aega five, minus 5.5. Okay? Yahan pe aega 0 aega. To yahan pe aega minus 5.5. Then, something before that. Correct? Okay. Yahan se aap yahan milaoge. And then the other graphs and then the stuff and then yahan pe point aega. This is called as a frequency polygon. That's all. Okay? So, Alhamdulillah, we are done with the class. You performed very well in this test. MashaAllah, please send me the last graph as well. Okay? So, Jazakumullah, khairan, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can you please send me the snapshot of the final graph that you have drawn for the frequency polygon? Mama, actually, I'm... Oh, yes, Bita? Team A. Yes? The end of the pen finish of, like, for Team A, I did with a pink pen. So yes, yes. I just cannot hear you properly. Can you please uh, bring your microphone a bit in front of your mouth so that I can hear you well? Um, actually, I drew team A with pink pen and the ink is finished. So I okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And... This is excellent. This is excellent. Mashallah. So uh, both of this should go to 5.5. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, mashallah. No problem. Okay, um... Barakallah Fiki. Alhamdulillah, so we are done with the class. We are almost time. Jazakumullah khair and take care of yourself. Have a good day. Inshallah, we'll continue with the next chapter. We'll see which chapter we can start from tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, Jazakumullah khair and assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Do not forget to send me the chapters that you have completed at school, okay? Yes. Jazakumullah khair and assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Subhanakallah, mawabihamdika, nashadallah, ilaha illa, and tastaghfirullah, wa barakatuh.